Hey there, welcome back. What we're going to do right now is we are going to create the mouth. So the mouth has sometimes two parts, it depends on the shape of the mouth. But here we've got quite a thin straight mouth and what we're going to have to do is just, if you can see where the shading is on this uh, sort of semicircle, we are going to create a black arc here or semicircle underneath. We're also going to be careful with this one because we need to make a tiny outline because we can't just have a straight line with the mouth because it looks a bit strange. Much like if you try to do this while you're smiling, you would have noticed that when we were taking the photographs of you, we would have asked you not to smile. So, because the teeth are become so white, it looks a bit unnerving. So here we've got a slight dip here and then back up and then back down to where the lips have that natural kind of V shape here. It's only very slight here and then we're going to have to sort of just mirror it out on the other side too where we have a little um, dip and a curve here just at the edge where her mouth appears to sort of just dip down. So that's what we're going to have to do. The other thing we're going to need to do is make sure our brushes are open and we have one of these sort of rounded ends too. If you don't have your brushes window, go into your window um, menu at the top and go to brushes and make sure that's turned on. Inside brushes, you will have to go into your brushes library. And I went into artistic, I think, and had artistic scroll pen. Inside artistic scroll pen, you can just have this round edge here. You can see that immediately turned on at turned on just around here uh, because um, I've got it highlighted at the moment and so we can have that rounded edge uh, happening here later on we will start to mess around with that with these pens and start to change them slightly so that we have custom pens especially for the hair so let's have a go at this go straight into the pen tool we don't necessarily want this uh, six to be happening I want to be in my mouth layer so I'm not messing around with this any longer um, and it's going to go and escape out of it. this. Let's go and get the fill uh, to be nothing because I don't want the fill to be on. I want my stroke to be black and we'll start off with five and see what it does. We'll have to move it around when we change the pen tool. Anyway, so let's start to just move this around. go into here and then it's going to go slightly up. You can see straight away uh, how obtuse that line is. I'm going to undo that one because her mouth sort of comes down there like that. So I'm going to escape that out of that. And now when I put that on you can see that that line is so large but you can go down to uh, 0.25 and um, and because her mouth is, is relatively, we can mess around with that and see what fits her face as we move out, as we zoom out. So we can see what the zoom that fits. You can see without the light, without the curve underneath her face, underneath her mouth, that it kind of looks rather off-putting. But we'll escape out of that and then we'll go and in. So I can make this curve underneath her mouth. And what this is going to do then is if we do the same as before and we start to do the curves as we pull this around, we can start to move it around slightly. But that will start to... 0.5 is probably too strong. Let's move out of there. I'm not happy with that. We want, we want to go and move that anchor around. So it might... It, matches her, her face somewhat. Right, I'm going to go and come out of there. And then I'm going to turn her face off uh, like we had before. That's actually not so bad. That's actually looking a bit better than it was because you can, she's still got that sort of downturn of her mouth. So I'm actually happy with that. So your everybody's mouth and uh, face is going to be different. So let me turn it back on. This may look a bit odd and it may look odd on you, but when you turn your face off, you will start to see that it actually does match your facial expressions, especially when we come to do the nose. So we'll have to look at different types of noses in a second. 
but this is important. This is her actual mouth. You can't change that. That's the way that she looks. But this, if I'd had that way down like it was before, it wouldn't have suited it at all. So make sure you've got a mouth layer. Make sure you're drawing in the mouth layer and you've got those, um, those paths in there. And it's up to you to have a go now. Good luck.